Alright my fellow degenerates, they were checking out the only kind of memes in the furry fandom where entering the anal cavity of a white latex animal can send you straight to the magical world of Narnia. It's vor memes. More butt portals, damn it. There's likely no level of trust equal to two vorfers having oral noddies. I worry about you sometimes, Candace. And this kinda got me thinking. Isn't oral noddies just technically vor light? I mean, one of you is entering the mouth of the other, but technically no one is getting eaten. It's only vor when someone finishes inside of another person's mouth. And by that extension, I can't believe I'm actually gonna freaking say this. But in the most fundamental way, isn't swallowing the freshly, freshly tapped man yogurt from a very tall, handsome man, swallowing all of that is technically vor. Because you're swallowing, <laughs> babe. I'm not finishing that. I'm not finishing that. Oh god, where the hell did this go? <laughs> I am so sorry. This is the first meme. I made it worse. The dragoness nods. Yes, yes, I did. I believe I shall have you for dinner tonight. You say. So, do you now actually mean it, or are you still joking? Joking, of course. I would never eat you, unless you wish to be my dinner. Whew! Oh, this uh, this vor roleplay is getting so hot. Either that, or there's really no ventilation inside of my bathroom. I'm sitting here with these boxers on, nothing on my torso because it's so freaking hot. But now it just got hotter because of this very, very dirty, dirty piece of literature. Mm. Keep God Lobster Diver giving a thumbs up in his hospital bed after being swallowed and sped out of a out of a humpback whale. Now this this is the reason why people have the lassophobia. This is not a vor fetish anymore. This is all of my worst fears being realized. And it is very, very fortunate that it was a humpback whale that swallowed this man because they cannot they cannot physically eat or swallow a human being. Their throats are kind of um kind of like the size of a small cantaloupe, so they can't exactly swallow an entire human. So this guy is very, very lucky. Traumatized, but lucky. Ooh, you're so nasty. <laughs> yeah, baby, I got that A1 steak sauce. We're gonna have fun tonight. Aha! Uh -huh. I have like two things that um, I got from this. Neither of them are good. Number one is the worst one. It's either he is going to use this A1 steak sauce as lubricant for their special lovemaking time and i know for a fact that a1 steak sauce is kind of spicy because i had i had the stupid idea of ingesting a teaspoon of it bad idea of course very salty very spicy i did not like it one bit or he's going to drizzle that steak sauce all over his wife and lick it off of her now you know it might sound kinky you know licking food off of your significant other is kind of kind of hot in some way but um, that's better you that's better utilized in the kitchen rather than on the bed where your food might stain your very crappy bed sheets so neither of those scenarios that I just said are good me laughing ironically at war jokes even though I like weight gain I just think it's neat you know, I kind of I kind of like a little bit of weight gain myself, healthy weight gain in fact, but I'd like to have a little bit of line distinction between weight gain and having a belly bulge from boring someone recently. God is dead because he got bored. I don't think so. I think God is still alive. He's just up there in the clouds hiding from the abomination that he has created. He came down here once and saw the monstrosities that mankind has created and he has never came back since. Imminent vor. When it is implied either through dialogue or action that a character is about to be swallowed, ingested or inserted into a body of another. Note that a ma shot in which a character's mouth obscures the majority of the frame is not necessarily this unless the viewer is clearly in the same physical space as the predator. So to make a long narrative short, this rabbit dude is going inside of this big honky fox dude. And not through an orifice that you might think. <laughs> huh, oh hey there, I was looking for a snack. 
Come here, man. I feel like this is one of those instances where you're like a very scared micro. Someone trapped you inside of a fridge and hoping to preserve your little tiny body for consumption later. You would wish for the cold of the fridge to kill you with hypothermia way before someone gets a chance to put you in, put you in their mouths. Unless you are a kinky motherfucker and you're a, a micro that's pretty much into that. Um, to that I say kudos to you. You've achieved your biggest dreams. Enter the butt. You know, I'm starting to have mixed feelings of wanting to play change or whether or not I would want to not play change. Every time I see a screenshot, a very out of context screenshot of uh, a gameplay of change, it's either I want to play it because it looks cute, it reminds me of Undertale, or stuff like this. Is there like a some point in the game where I would actually have to enter the anal cavity of a gigantic latex white fox? It's not more if you swallow the evidence. The evidence? I think I made this joke earlier, but I think it's worth saying it again. Swallowing fresh man yogurt from a very handsome man is technically mass genocidal vor. And I do not care what you think. I think it's pretty much accurate. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you guys are familiar with one of those brand new Mickey Mouse animation shorts, but um, I think I prefer the old ones considering uh, Images like this exist. Okay, this is an actual episode. I don't know what kind of what kind of recreational drugs are the artists or the um, the storyboarders or or the writers of the or the creators basically of this version of Mickey Mouse cartoons are on. I don't think I would want any of those. You know, this is just very weird. What kind of kid looks at this and goes, ah ha ha? He ate each other, ha! Huh? If you sh if you showed me this when I was a kid, I'd probably be traumatized. Are you low on power? Are you in need of some electrolytes? Well, basically, we have a life hack for you. Technically, just go get your Vaporeon that you don't use anymore from your PC and just freaking blend it in a blender. The result of which is a brand new bottle of blue Gatorade, the cool blue flavor. Replenish your electrolytes now. And that brings us to the end of Vor Memes. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, chat with me on Discord, support me on Coffee. My coffee link is in the description below. And don't forget to check me out on TikTok. The links will be provided for you in the description below. This has been your fellow degenerate, CookPoss88. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Stay foxy. Much love.